What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel everybody. How are you doing today? We got fact sheets today. Fact sheet Friday is here and we're going to start off with something super cool. We have the JCB Fast Track 4220. Look at this thing. It looks so good. I'm so excited. I got my JCB back. Yes. I've been waiting for this. I'm so excited, so happy. This thing is everything we've ever wanted. Well, DJ, D everything DJ's ever wanted. <laughs> it's gonna cost you $196,000 for the base model, has 235 horsepower, will hold 390 liters of fuel, all well and good. We'll go 38 miles an hour, we'll probably go 40, <laughs> unless they're actually gonna make it go 38. Who knows? You know, in Farm Sim 17, they all went like one mile an hour faster than it said they could. But get this, all wheel or front wheel steering. What? That's so cool. And see, JCB is known for having really good logging stuff and, and being able to get in and out of tight spaces. So not only does this have 235 horsepower, not only will it go close to 40 miles an hour, but it has all wheel steering. You think that's the end of it? Oh no, we ain't even done yet. We can change wheel brand, wheel setup, has a front loader attacher, plus front and rear three point leakage. You could do standard tires, wide tires, twin wheels, oh my God, narrow tires and communal. What? This is like the best tractor in the whole world. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. A lot of horsepower, goes super fast, all-wheel steering, has a front loader. You could put twins on it. Oh my god, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Get hype, get hype, get hype, get hype. We also have the Shoemaker trailer on the back. This is not as exciting, but it still looks really good. The detail is absolutely incredible on this thing. Uh, also, Miss Silly P did a fantastic review of this trailer talking about it and talked about the history of the company and everything like that so if you guys haven't already make sure you go check out his video because it was fantastic i'm not gonna go into all that i'm not gonna I'm not gonna steal the thunder that's his thunder i just want the jcb <laughs> but for that one it's gonna cost you fifty five thousand. uh it's gonna come in options you can do either forty five thousand or forty eight and a half thousand liter capacity and you can change the wheel brand pretty cool and it'll hold uh basically all the forage stuff you know chaff silage uh hay grass that that kind of thing wood chips probably maybe sugar cane as well moving on to something that is ugly but it's it's here <laughs> we have it uh this was a mod for fs17 we now have it as a real thing NFS 19. This is the New Holland W190D wheel loader. It's going to cost you $175,000. Has 234 horsepower. So it looks like we're getting a very significant horsepower bump from the 2017 version. Uh, hold 288 liters of fuel. We'll go 24 miles per hour. You can change the wheel brand and the wheel setup. Now, this is where this gets kind of cool because you have standard tires wheel or twin wheels and narrow twin wheels so that compaction is going to be absolutely incredible so you can throw on them twin wheels you can throw on the narrow twins you can get in crops do kinds of stuff that's super cool i never even thought they or I, you know you have the front twins which we've had but we've never had twins i think it's been a mod for um pc and i believe i actually saw this tractor in someone's thumbnail uh, within the past week that had twins on it. And it looked really cool. Um, it was one of the, I say one of the bigger farm sim YouTubers. I can't remember who it was, but they were doing silage. And I believe I saw something like this in one of their thumbnails. Really cool stuff. So again, standard tires, twin wheels or narrow twins on a freaking front loader, on a wheel loader. <laughs> Come on, man, that's awesome. And then we have the uh, Mag C coming back with a high dump bucket uh, wheel loader attachment. 3,600 bucks will hold 3,000 liters of just about anything. Hold just about anything. Really, really cool. 
This is exciting. This week is exciting. I like this. I like lots of wheel stuff. What's next? Oh my god. We got the John Deere, the 6M series. Now, I'm not as familiar with the M series. I'm more familiar with the R series, but this thing looks really good. I mean, really good. I feel like we have just gotten a huge amount of information this week. So exciting, such good stuff. Uh, the 6M series is going to run you 119 and a half grand. Um, it has between 121 and 164 horsepower. Uh, so it's a pretty good, um, it, it'd be a pretty overpowered chore tractor, to be honest with you. Uh, I think this would be great for animals. And that seems to be how they're showing it off here as well. 265 liters of fuel will go 24 miles per hour. So it is smaller. It is a smaller tractor, but it's, I mean, it's a pretty good sized tractor. It's, and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it looks great. Check this out though. This is so cool. Front weight, wheel brand, wheel setup, engine setup, front loader attacher. And I'm trying to see, I don't think that this specific version has a three point attach on the front. I'm looking, I can't really make it out, but I don't think that it does. If you guys see it and, and you say, yes, it definitely does, drop down in the comment section. Um, but I don't think that it does. Uh, anyway, so we can change standard tires, wide tires, why wide tires, narrow tires, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, wheel weights, and wide tires plus weights. Jeez. So we go standards, wides, narrows, Wow, okay. Rear twins, sweet. Twin wheels, what? Wheel weights, okay, okay. We're getting there. Wide tires with weights. <laughs> There's so many options. So many options. We are being spoiled rotten for Farming Simulator 19. If you are not hype, you need to get up and do like 10 jumping jacks and then like hold your breath for five minutes because that's, you, and then start breathing again. That's how hype we're about to be. Yes. <laughs> it also has its own John Deere branded front loader. Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's going to run you 5,400 bucks. So it's pretty expensive compared to uh, one of the Stoll versions. But regardless, we also have the Warzy Bell Spike and Unroller. Again, I will point you towards the direction of Mr. Silly P's video from earlier. Actually, I'm, I'm going to try and put a link down in the description for that. He goes into great detail about this, but. Um, Basically, what it is, is this company has made this bell unroller and you put it in there. It's not a shredder. It just unrolls the bell um, and it kind of puts it out into a nice little for your animals. Very, very nice. Good stuff. And it comes with the spike as well. The spike actually picks up the uh, implement from the back. So I'm speaking about the yellow spikes holding the bell above the strawman and I'm speaking of the blue and yellow implement on the back of the tractor. That is the Warzy. Yes, very cool stuff. And last, but certainly not least, at least for this category, we have the Strauman VM1702 Double SF Fast Cut. Yeah, yeah. This is a very interesting piece of equipment and I'm gonna explain why. This is a self-propelled mixer wagon. We can see that. We look at it. Yes, there it is. $158,000. It's a little expensive, but it's fine. It is what it is. I don't think a lot of people use these because it is so expensive. And there, I believe there was another YouTuber that mentioned the same thing. It's so expensive <laughs> for what it does. Like if it held 170,000 liters, yeah, I might buy it, but not for 17,000 liters. Uh-uh. Uh, it's 175 uh, horsepower, holds 400 liters of fuel. Not that it matters. We're all going to run the fuel out and forget about it anyway. 17, it will hold 17,000 liters, um, which is interesting because the bales for Farming Simulator 17 and maybe 15 as well, I'm not quite sure, um, were 4,000. So with this, we're going to have an extra 1,000 liters, and I think that's why they're actually making you pick it up. So you're going to go through and pick up things, you know, instead of 4,000, you're going to be picking up 4,250 liters if you want to get equal amounts of everything. Anyway, this will pick up, looks like hay, grass, straw, silage, uh, chaff, maybe, um, as well as forage. So hopefully it 
does pick up all that stuff. We shall see. Um, I may need to go back and do a double check on the little things going on right here. Try not to move my mouse too much, but that is it for today. These are the fact sheets. We are going to jump in. We're going to take a look at some stuff on the website. There is some stuff that has been missed and some new things that have been added that I want to make sure that you guys see. And instead of making two videos, we're just going to do it on one so you can pick it up all in one place. So now we have moved over to the website. So you can see farmingsimulator.com. What you want to do is you want to go to games, click on games. Then you're going to want to scroll down. And they're going to show you all these things, overview, vehicles, harvesters, equipment, maps, animals, fruits, hit my microphone. Oh, no. <laughs> First new thing that we get today is JCB. What you want to do is click on JCB and you're going to see the fast track 4220 is in there. It is in medium tractors, 235 horsepower, 60 kilometers per hour. And we get a nice picture of it, too. Looks really good. I like that. Then we're going to go into John Deere. We get a really good picture of John Deere as well. We get the 6M series. Look at this. Oh, it looks, it just, it looks really, really good. You can tell from this one, no front three point linkage on here. Again, 6M series, medium tractors, 142 to 164 horsepower. I don't think that was the same number that we got from the other one. I believe it was 121 to 164 horsepower. I could be wrong. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong down in the comment section. You guys love doing that. So <laughs> I will open that up for you here. Uh, but regardless, this tractor looks fantastic. And it's going to add a lot to the John Deere series. I'm still worried that we're only going to get a few John Deere things. And then later on down the line, get a John Deere DLC. A lot of people think that I'm worried about it. But hey, more content is more content. And that's exciting. They've also added some Massey Ferguson's in here as well. We had the Massey Ferguson 56 and 77. This week they've had the 87 in here. It is in medium tractors, 300 to 400 horsepower, and will go 50 kilometers per hour. And it looks pretty good. I really, really like this. And hopefully we're going to be getting a black edition for the PlayStation 4. I don't know if that is... The case or not, no one has said anything about that. I know that we're getting the T6 Blue Edition, but I don't know if we're going to be getting another Black Edition for the Massey Ferguson's. I hope so. In New Holland, we get to check out some things going on in here. Of course, we've had the T6 and the T8 and the T9. And last week, we got the Skid Steers. This week, we have the Wheel Loader added. A new picture of this, it looks different. Something about it looks different. I think it's the wheels. Maybe it's the angle. I'm not sure. Maybe these are just the shop icons. Regardless, man, that thing looks good. It looks way better in this picture than it did in the screenshot that we got. But we got the, the Type W190D. It is in wheel loaders, 234 horsepower, 40 kilometers per hour. Man, this thing looks good. And finally, in vehicles, we have the Stroutman the food mixer it will be in the animals category again 175 horsepower 40 kilometers per hour and a 17,000 liter capacity we've got a couple new things added in the harvesters section we're going to jump into capello right now uh, we have added the spartan 610 forage header uh, this is a 6.1 meter working with i'm down here on the bottom left hand corner if you guys are watching on a smaller screen this is basically a mower. It's really all it is. It's just a mower. Um, so you can jump in and you can mow down your smaller crops, uh, your, your cereal crops, grass, that kind of thing. Also, if we jump into, I believe it's Ross Mesh. Yes, they've added a new Ross Mesh. They've added the Forage Harvester. Very, very cool. The F2650. Now, I'm not sure if this is the same one we have in game right now, but it's 650 horsepower and will go 40 kilometers per hour. And the only other big notable thing is from Kuhn. They have added a lot of new stuff today in the Kuhn section. We have another shredder. I believe it's a shredder anyway. Yep, 11,900 liter capacity requires 85 horsepower. And then we have a blower. Is this the same things? 
These same things. I don't know if they're the same things or not. Who knows? And we have a bell uh, maker. <laughs> Sorry, not bell maker. I'm trying to work out some words here, guys. We have a square baler. We also have a round baler. I believe this round baler, the FBP, is also a wrapper as well. And we have the square bell wrapper. This will be in the base game. You do not have to worry. This will be in the base game. So you guys that want to wrap your square bells, you can. There will be no, there may be a coon pack DLC, but this is going to be part of the base game for Farming Simulator 19. Doesn't look like we've got anything extra down through here. There is one other thing that I wanted to show you guys before we take off. Make that two things. <laughs> in our Kusin, we have the Bell Stacker, the four stack. We also have the square bell auto loader thing. So we will have a square bell auto loader for FS19. And last but not least, let's take a look at the Warsi right here. These are the bell unwrappers. So you've got one for skid steer, one for front loader, and one for telehandlers. So we'll have stuff for all of that, which is good. Good things are happening. So guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please drop us a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.